What's up Laravel developers and welcome back to the third video in this Laravel Jet Stream mini series where we're going to add a functionality where users need to accept the terms of service and privacy policy before they could register their account. Quick pause. I'm currently working on a new Udemy course where we'll dive into Laravel databases and Eloquent. If you think that there is a topic that should most definitely be included, feel free to drop it down below in the comment section. If you would be interested in the course or want to support the channel, Make sure that you follow me on either Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube to be the first one to find out when the course gets released. Over the last few years, accepting terms of services and privacy policies of websites before registering became very popular. Laravel Jetstream allows you to enable this functionality because it's pretty much built into the application. When installing Laravel Jetstream, a configuration file has been added inside the config directory named Jetstream. Now, just like the Fortify configuration file, Jetstream added a feature section right at the bottom, right here, where you will find optional features of Jetstream. By default, you will see that the first option, the terms and privacy policy, has been commented out. And whenever you want to enable the terms and privacy policy, you simply need to uncomment it. Once we navigate back to the browser and delete our account one more time, Add our password. Click on the register button in the top right corner. You will see that a new checkbox has been added right above our register button right here, which says, I agree to the terms of service and privacy policy of this application. And as you might have noticed, the terms of service and the privacy policy are both links. So we could pretty much click on it. Once we do that, you will see that we have been redirected to the forward slash terms of service endpoint and the forward slash privacy policy endpoint. Now keep in mind that this isn't a regular blade template, but it is stored in the same location as blade templates. So let's navigate back to PHP Storm. Let's open our resources directory where you will find a subdirectory named Markdown. And once we open it, you will see a policy.md and a terms.md file. Now the MD extension indicates that we're working with markdown files. For the sake of this video, I have created the content of the terms.md and the policy.md beforehand. So I'll just add it in the description down below if you want to copy paste it as well. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do that right now. So give me a moment. I'll just copy the terms, paste it right here. Then for the privacy policy, I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing. Paste it right here. Navigate back to Google Chrome. Refresh our privacy policy and you'll see that we just added random text right here. The same goes for the terms of services. All right. Once we navigate back to our register endpoint, create our account. Add my password right here. Now let's not check the terms of service and privacy policy. And you'll see that we need to tick this box if we want to proceed. Once we do that and click on register, we obviously need to verify our account. So let's do that real quick. And you'll see that we have been redirected to our dashboard endpoint. Now this was it for this quick tutorial where we made sure that users have to accept the terms and policy before registering. In the next video, we will add a profile photo functionality to users. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.